Hello, Voxelnauts. The Sandbox is about to release customizable avatars for the metaverse. First, there were several full body avatars you could select from your dashboard, but soon you will be able to mix and match body parts and even create your own in VoxEdit. Make sure to get the latest version of VoxEdit from the Create tab on Sandbox.game. Whenever you open the new templates tab, the latest templates will automatically download. You can learn more about VoxEdit's modeler, animator, and template from this playlist. In this video, we'll just be covering the new features related to the avatars. Avatars are divided into four sections, the head, torso, legs, and feet. If you only want to make one section to combine with other parts on the dashboard, just select that template and give it a unique name. With the new file open, we can see that the other parts of the body are grayed out, but we can still play all the animations to see how that part appears in different situations. All the models except the ones relevant to your selected part are hidden from the library and out of the way. You can still duplicate and load in other voxel models to the library. In the case of the head and torso templates, there are alternate male and female versions to help you get started. Just drag them to the correct node to swap them. Click on the pencil button to edit the voxel model. There is a new default palette already loaded. This special palette is used by our staff artists. You can still change these to any color you want, but this will help you find colors that are cohesive with the official sandbox assets. There are also new sections at the bottom of the palette labeled for skin, hair, eyes, and accent. These swatches are special. In a future update, not only will you be able to mix and match different parts to create your avatar, but you'll be able to select different colors. I recommend making the first skin swatch the main shade you use on any body part so they will all match when people customize them on the dashboard. These 13 swatches will enable anyone who uses the part to make their avatar uniquely their own. You can change the modeling on your character, but if you want them to be fully compatible with most equipment in games like armor and helmets, it's best to do very few changes to the geometry and mostly paint clothing. If you want to make a full set of parts for an avatar, but still publish it with the option to swap for other parts, you can save your full body avatar, then make new template files for the four sections. Delete the default template models and use the library menu to import the VXM files from your full avatar. Now when you go to publish the part, the hidden gray assets will still display in the thumbnail correctly so it's clear which part of the thumbnail is important. Right now avatar publishing is not publicly available, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when new features are released. After an avatar is published to the dashboard, you will be able to go to your Me tab and click the Edit Avatar button. From there you can pick a full body or select from the four body parts to make your custom look. You can even hit this Randomize button to see one of the more than 3 million combinations possible. If you liked your old avatar better, you can also click the Undo button. Then save to activate your character for playing in social hubs and games in the sandbox. I can't wait to see the awesome characters you'll build and I'll meet you in the metaverse.